been in the Are We There Yet series, and there are a number of things that we talked about. Uh, we talked about the fact that when we're really there, we can say, Jesus is my life. It's what my life is all about. We talked about, we can say, there's nothing greater than serving. Jesus said, if you want to be great, be the servant of all. We've talked about, fundamentally, all I need is Jesus. If I have him, I have everything I need. And we talked about, I've not yet arrived also, that we never need to, to think that we're just always there where we're supposed to be. There's always an opportunity for us to grow further spiritually. Until we're just exactly like he is, we have growing to do. Now the word says we'll be like him one day because we'll see him as he is. But in this life, we're on a journey to see and understand Jesus through his word, through his presence in our lives. So we hadn't arrived yet. And then we talked last week about I must press on. That it's never a time just to let up. Instead, it's the time to push on and press on into all that God wants us to do and be. And then today we're going to talk about I'll rejoice at all times. Now, that's quite a statement. That means I'll rejoice in the good times. I'll rejoice in the bad times. I'll rejoice in every time at all times. Now, that's the goal we shoot for. I don't know anybody, including and especially myself, that can say, I always do that perfectly. But the truth of the matter is, and as we'll see today, you can do it in any situation. The good situations, the bad situations, the easy times, the trying times. We can, when we understand, we can rejoice in the Lord at all times. And I want to talk to you about seven different things that we can do, times of rejoicing. Uh, but I want, to, I want to emphasize one really important point as we begin and that's that I can tell you in my life, and I imagine you'll identify with this, I need continual freshening up. I need to continually get in the presence of God, get in the Word of God, and allow Him to freshen me up in the faith, freshen me up in my walk with Him. You know, if, if you want to freshen the, the air around you, you can get a spray like this and spray it, and then it freshens the room up. Or... If you want to freshen up your breath, you can take a, a mouthwash like this and swish it around and, and freshens your, your breath. And, and we're seeing a lot of these, as a matter of fact, with the virus going around. It's been hard to find these sometimes, but you can freshen your hands up with these. You can just take them and, and clean your hands. And it says it kills 99.99% of of germs. Now, that's quite a claim, and as I understand it, it, it really does. Wouldn't it be great if we as believers following Jesus had ways to freshen up? Wouldn't it be great if we could stay fresh enough that no matter what circumstances we're in, we're rejoicing in the Lord? Well, that's possible, and we're going to look at that today as we look into the Word. Now, in the Are We There Yet series, we've talked about, as I said, Jesus is my life. There's nothing greater than serving. All I need is Jesus. I've not yet arrived. I must press on. And today, we're going to talk about rejoicing at all times. Now, I want to give you from the Word of God seven different times that we can rejoice. Every one of them are different, and every one of them are important. And, and the first one is this, I can rejoice when I have plenty. 